so good to be with you again today. Uh, if we haven't met, my name is Matt Kuman. I'm the group's pastor here. Um, and the first thing I want to talk about with you guys today is the icebreaker question. I love these so much. What's the most embarrassing fashion trend you used to rock? Um, I think back in kindergarten, and I think this is actually my picture for school, the school pictures, I had like a turtleneck with Mickey Mouse on the neck part. It was so good. It just like hugged my neck. You know, I think those are great because they keep your neck warm. So I wish they would make a comeback. Uh, but until then, that is going to be the embarrassing fashion trend I used to rock. Uh, talk about those things with your group and then we'll start rocking with discussion questions. All right, groups, question number one. Do you remember a time back in school where you were rejected? Um, talk about that time together. All right, and be honest for this next one. Did any of you hold on to that rejection for a little bit? Uh, why, why was that something you held on to? Paul uses a specific word in Galatians 4 verse 7 um, at the end of the verse to describe who we are. Um, I want you to talk about why you think Paul uses that specific word. Question number four, in what ways does the world send you a message that may leave you feeling rejected? What are those ways? And number five, uh, when I feel rejected, I talked about this in the message, when I feel rejected, I often go to reality TV where I can live my life almost through somebody else's life and forget about the rejection and I can numb that rejection. Uh, here's the question, number five, when you, re when you feel rejected, what is your typical response? And last question, and this is probably my favorite out of all of them today. Even if you have a hard time doing this, I want to challenge you to pretend to live into this question for a moment. How does your life look differently when you know without a doubt that you are redeemed, knowing that what the world says about you doesn't matter in the slightest? How do you live differently? All right, groups, that's it's it for us for questions. Um, if you have time and want to dig into the digging deeper questions, it kind of talks about some more of the ways uh, that we deal with the rejection, specifically looking at how Jesus dealt with his rejection. I think if there's any person that we should be looking to to mimic, it should be Jesus. So let's look at those verses if you have some time. If not, um, I want to thank you for being together today. One challenge I want to put on to you guys, and as a group, your leaders do know about this and can give you some more information, but we are raising or not raising turkeys, I was just about to say raising turkeys. We're getting at turkey baskets together, um, partnering with His Harvest Stand to get meals together for those who can't get meals together for Thanksgiving. So there's a sign-up genius that's been created. Your leaders have that information. We'd love it if you guys would um, commit to getting a few of those turkey boxes um, and feel free to find some more information online for that. But otherwise, have a great week, guys, and we will see you all soon.